Hello YouTube, Biz Matthew here once again with another amazing video for you all. Uh, today I'm going to show you all how to find winning products on AliExpress that can make you over two, three hundred dollars of revenue a day and how I found my winning products. All right, so right here we're in AliExpress and we'll type in a generic item so for example let's say towels okay so we have towels all right you know we have some basic gen generic towels that they are probably selling a lot you see this one has over 819 orders this one almost 2,000 for this one you can try to sell them but I I wouldn't recommend it as your first product what I would do is I would try to find a product that is niche specific so if a towel has a dog on it or a something that connects something to somebody if that makes sense so usually I just go by orders I click orders to find them the winning ones obviously generic ones almost 4k voila here's one so what I do I just right click it open link a new tab that's another one get that one too you know I'm finding towels that's that that has like a image on it or something to uh, make it more niche specific so I can target a specific niche okay here's one here's one let's see what else we have this is nice that's nice I want to see if we have any other that's cool but we already picked something similar watermelon watermelon all right let's see what we have so the first towel we have we have this this small cute baby towel uh, with microfiber um, you know towel for babies so this is a one of the good this is a good item to market because it's a towel alright everyone needs a towel first of all but now you're going down to the baby niche alright and you can go even further you can go baby niche and then you can go cartoon characters you know they have this little cartoon character like a bunny or something and so it's very niche specific and that's one item that you can um, sell and you see that it's selling well let's see if somebody's drop shipping um, not, okay yep someone's drop shipping V V V V S S S that's one way you can check if somebody's drop shipping there already kinda so multiple people seems to be drop shipping so that can be a good or bad thing it shows that okay it's not just one person dominating it and so other people can still get in and it can be a bad thing because like okay so many people are already in here marketing this item so just test with that alright let's just go to the next towel oh, same towel same towel okay beach towel here we go okay they got multiple ones different types all right all right I can see where we can go with this one so right away first of all you have a towel okay now let's dig in deeper you have a round towel so you can market to I don't know Millennials or you know younger people or even older people who you know don't want to get a traditional rectangular towel all right and then you have these different designs here and you can see it's very beachy you have these nice photos that you can use you know and it plus you know women are a good selling image if you guys noticed um, in marketing uh, blonde blue eyes you know that's that's just how the world works you know it may be tripped up but hey they sell anyways so right here you have some right here you have these and what I would do actually I would experiment with this towel and also market to the yoga uh, niche and I will contact a bunch of influencers to see if we can market to them you know 
And so I would build up my Facebook pixel through Instagram influencers and then scale through Facebook. And so I hope that helps you all. This is another, oh, my phone is ringing. All right, so this is another thing I use. I just go to AliExpress uh, to find products and I just say, I just look best selling, right? And then you can see here you have the best selling products of the week. And so right here, this seems niche specific. So I just tab that. Let me just exit out the other ones. All right. You have this. This has been on here forever. You know, some generic items, generic flower stickers. I would look into that. Um, I'll find something niche specific. You can kind of do, oh, owls, you know, there's a bunch of owl Facebook pages that sell a bunch of owl things. So that's probably a good one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, right here. This cap this been here forever. Oh, look at this Marvel. Oh no. But yeah. Okay. Let's just see. For example, I picked this one, this beautiful camera, shoulder, next slingshot thing, and you can market to so many people, you know, camera people, and wow, imagine just, somebody just drops it, 72,000, holy lord, okay, some people are drop shipping, some people are, but yeah, you can still make a killing with this, I, 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 I believe, just market to the right people on Instagram, oh, you'll be good, you'll be good. Um, what else we have? What else we have? We have some, you know, stickers, market to young people. So, you know, I find products, I find, I look through the orders, see what's selling. Usually I don't go for super high orders like these, like 70,000. I usually go around the range of between 500 and 1,000 orders. Um, and then I would uh, consider those items. And then I go niche specific. So if I'm looking for t-shirts, I make sure there's something in it that will connect uh, uh, it to somebody. And so, yeah, I do that. And voila. And that's how I find my products. And then I usually look at Instagram first. And then I scale on Facebook. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And let me know. If you guys have another question, I'll be posting a video every other day. So I didn't post yesterday, but I posted Wednesday and I posted it today, which is Friday. All right, everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.